So here we're going to work with the lateral hip, the vastus lateralis, IT band, and we might even get a bit of um, <clears throat> lateral hamstring. We're going to use some instrument assist assisted tool. So I'm going to apply a little bit of cream here. So what we're going to do here, we're going to stretch the lateral hip as we apply our therapy. So what I like to do, I block with one arm, block with one leg, so I'm here. So if you've done our stretching class, you'll notice how we do a lateral hip stretch similar to this. So I'm gonna expose the greater trochanter. And what I'm gonna do, I'll just scrape and stretch. Scrape and stretch. Gua Sha tools are great. Many, many different tools on the market now. So here I'm just stretching. So this is a great way to increase length, reduce pain perception, <clears throat> autogenic inhibition. So notice I'm pulling towards me. I can just as easy push away. So I'll use the other edge of the blade. So when you have a, a gua sha tool, there's a beveled edge. So the beveled edge on this blade is I have to pull. If I push with that edge, it's not the same. So I have to flip the angle of the blade and I'll push away this way. So, so now I'm gonna push this way. Okay. And I can just change the angle of stretch. So over here, lateral hamstrings, IT band, BL. Hamstring, IT band, BL. Now I'm decompressing the hip. Same, boom. Different strokes for the U stroke here. And when I'm doing this stroke, this particular stroke, I can't feel any gristly or any crunchiness. Same when I do this stroke actually. But when I go here, obviously you can't see on camera, but I keep, you know, when I go this way, it's like really clunky and bumpy. This sometimes can be fibrosis, adhesions, lack of fascial pliability. It can be little tiny micro deposits of um, lipoma fats, little fat cells underneath. But I find when you can only feel it, so this way, no crunchiness. This way, a lot. So I will tend to work along the crunchy line. And same with the strokes that we teach all the time, guys. Like, we don't have to do all the way from the knee to the hip. So if Kiki's having adhesions here, or this is where we feel the dysfunction is, we can stretch and just work these small little pockets of tissue. We don't always have to work the whole line. So I could be here. Yeah. Push against me. Contracting the hamstring. Relax. Push here. Contracting the hip flexors, relaxing the hamstring. I'm in here. There's definitely something going on here. And relax. So if you want any advice on tools, reach out to us. There are a bunch that we recommend and we like. Um, some are not so good. And we'll tell you those in private. Um, but yeah, instrument assisted therapy is just a great addition to your current practice.